In the November 2024 release of Illustrator, we got a nice new feature that allows us to generate these nice color information cards. So let's see how this feature works. I've downloaded this artwork from the link in the description, and let's open the swatches panel by going to Window, Swatches. And I'll start by removing all the unused swatches. So click here to open the panel's menu, click Select All Unused, and then click here to delete them. Next, with the Selection tool, go ahead and select everything Open the menu again, and then click Add Selected Colors. So now we can see the colors of the artwork right here in the Swatches panel. Like and subscribe for more content Wait, like this. Wait, where are the cards? Oh, no, sorry, the cards, yeah. So now you can deselect the artwork. And let's select the swatches that we want to create cards from. So click on the first swatch. I'm going to skip all of these and start with the green swatch. Hold down Shift and click on the last one. Now that all the swatches are selected, open the panel's menu and choose Create Swatch Info. That's the new feature. This box will pop up with a bunch of settings. You can change the width and height of the cards, the text color inside the card. You can show or hide some color codes, the color names, the ink type, the card background, and you can choose whether you want the stacking to be horizontal or vertical and specify the distance between the cards. W what else do you want? Change the font? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. When you're done, click create to generate these beautiful cards. Aren't they beautiful? How do I change the font? Just select them and open the character panel. And here you can change the font and font size. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, these cards are one object. You can't ungroup them. And you can only make changes using these settings up here in the control bar. But to convert the cards into separate objects, first make sure they're selected and then go to Object, Expand, and check Object, then click OK. Now you're able to ungroup them. I'll do that twice and you can rearrange them and edit them the way you want. Like and subscribe. Yeah, whatever.